I wanted a ridiculously over-the-top clown mask. And this one is called the Big Top Clown Mask. And big is an understatement. I'm shooting in portrait mode on this video because this thing is so big. If I shoot it in landscape, I'll only get like the nose and the eyes in frame. Uh, to put it into perspective, um, I'm six foot four and I have very large hands. And if I take my hand and I put it up to here, <laughs> you can see how big this mask is. Um, it's got to be two and a half something feet from the tip up to the top there. Um, or maybe a little bit more. Um, and I got the mask and uh, was like, okay, this is ridiculously over the top and that's cool. Uh, but the first drawback, which was something that I saw no comments about, was eyesight. How do you see out of this thing? Well, they give you these very tiny little slits right here. You can see I'm putting my finger through one here, right in the corners of the eyes. And apparently that's supposed to allow you to see. You can't see. Those slits are so small, all you see is a little bit of light coming through. You have no vision whatsoever. So um, I was a little disappointed in that, but the builder in me said, you know what, I'm going to make this work. So what I did was, uh, from past uh, Halloween experience, I know that you know at nighttime when you're wearing something, uh, there's a lot of details that you don't see. And so the first thing I did, and you can't even tell here, is that I cut out the entire top of the mouth. And what I did was fill it with screen wire, uh, the flexi, you know, gray colored screen wire. I didn't even bother painting it black because I know that at nighttime, just like you see now, you're not going to even notice it. But if I shine a light in there, you can see there's the screen wire. Um, so the first thing is, is that allows me to uh, have a lot more breathing ability um, in the mask. And also I can completely see out of that. Um, the mask does sit so that your vision is up here and the eyesight but uh, just from my legion experience wearing a bucket where you look through the frown a lot <laughs> as opposed to the eyes it's the same perspective so I get a lot of sight through there and that worked out great uh, the second thing is it's a big mask so you have a lot of room to play with in there uh, but it does still get hot it is a latex mask so the second thing I did was um, I cut out a little chunk in the bottom of the neck there and put some more screen wire and um, just like in your buckets if you do that um, I've got a little uh, 12 volt fan down in there and that fan right there which you can't see because there's like no light in here there we go 12 volt fan uh, sitting on a little cardboard riser to keep it kind of flat against the screen is bringing in um, a little bit of air for me and then the third thing I wanted to do was have some LED eyes so I went through my box of LEDs and I originally wanted green because uh, that kind of matched everything but the greens weren't like bright and piercing and I didn't want to go lasers because you know you're gonna laser someone's eyeball so instead I've got some very bright uh, blue LEDs in the eyes and uh, that's two wires that are gonna go, go down and then I'm gonna get a uh, you know, 9 volt uh, connector, solder on one, so I have it to the 9 volt battery, and then I've got a momentary toggle switch, which I can press like that, and that will light up the eyes. So you make contact with someone, hey kitty, how are you doing? <laughs> and that's my modifications to the big top clown mask. 